Good afternoon, Year 11s. I'm going to discuss paper 5 with you today, and this is uh, the May June exam paper from, of 2020. Right? Um, I'm going to start with section A, and there's two questions that is compulsory. And you can see there, um, right in front of you, is A1. In my next video, I will do A2, and then the following video will be B4 and then B5. So I will answer all the questions for you. Right, for starters, A1. Right, so let's see what's given. Given is a stand for a table lamp. Right, it says the table lamp. Um, it's also given the measurements here. 180, 40, 30. Add up all those measurements gives you 250. Okay. Now it says you complete half the size. Guys, the emphasis is half the size orthographic views of the lamp, of the table lamp, in the space provided to the right of the drawing. So here's the right, and this is where we're going to do our drawing. It says here we've got to draw the front view of the stand, and we've got to draw the plan view of the stand. With that being said, we know that the, it's going to be, it's basically in third angle. Right, because we've got a plan view, in other words, the top view, and then the front view over there at the bottom. Okay, so let's start the first thing. So let's look at what's important about this question. It says you complete half the size. Complete the half size orthographic view. So in other words, this has already been drawn half the size of what it actually is. So, and therefore, if we see here, and this is a 40, 180, 30. It adds up to 250. So therefore, if we have to divide that into 2, because it says that this is half, so we're just testing this, you would find that that is 125. So surely the distance from this point here down to this distance in line with that would be 125. So I'm just going to extend this line, and let's just measure and test and see if that line is really 125 and as you can see there it is 125 right okay so what are we going to do we're going to start off with this drawing by um, i would like to start off with the circles that's what i usually do because then you've got clear points that you can transfer down all right so let's look at the top circle there that circle is this little circle over here that's the given circle um, and now what we've got is we've got this bigger circle that we need to draw in there. Right, so what is the, what is the um, measurement? It's a diameter 100. So we have to divide that basically into uh, 2. So therefore it should give us a distance of diameter 50. I'm going to pick up my compass and I'm going to measure on my ruler. This is my ruler. Um... So diameter 50, so it's radius 25. 25, and I'm going to draw that circle right there from the center, and I draw my circle. Right, so that's the first circle drawn. Now I can draw the second circle. So my first circle will be the top part here, because it's at the top. The bottom part, the base in other words, would be diameter 140. So that will give me a diameter, if I divide that by 2, it's a diameter of 70, so therefore 35. So I will go there, the ruler again, and I will measure off 35. Alright, there's the 35. I'll draw a circle. Okay, guys, now what I do is I'm going to transfer those points down. Let's start with a smaller circle at the top. So that goes down, and that point there goes down. Okay, so it gives me this top line here. That I can complete. Okay, 
So I'm not going to, just for the video's sake, I'm going to do these lines dark so that you can clearly see. You don't have to make it so dark, but um, as I said, this is just to, for you to clearly see what I'm doing. Right, so the next thing I would do is I will now just draw this line here so that I can have the, the top part, the top part here in completion. So in other words, I've got this already there as basically as one of the flats okay this part here would be one of the flats and i'm going to copy this distance over here which is that's a 45 okay and you can see here the cross flats is a uh, is, is 180 so therefore it's 90 if i divide that by two it gives me 90 millimeters so surely there's a 45 and there's another 45 over there and that gives me that point over there and I draw this part in so this basically the octagonal base right so what I do now is I'm going to transfer I'm going to transfer these lines down to the bottom circle which is which is this point here which I transfer down, I transfer down and I join this point to this point over here. Alright, so guys now um, you can clearly see that I've got this octagon here and I haven't got these lines here as yet, okay, because I know for a fact that when I look straight onto this, whether I'm looking onto it like that, or I look at it on that like that, I will have two missing, I've got two missing lines here. And I've got the cross flats, and you got, you know the dis, the constructions for, for an octagon, alright? Uh, there's two ways of doing it. Obviously, when an angle is given of 45 degree, or one of the base edges, you're going to use your 45 degree set square method. If that's not given, usually they give you a cross flat. In other words, from here to there. And in this particular case, that's the case. So if the cross flat is uh, 90 millimeters and 90 millimeters across, it gives you a square, right? So basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a. We're going to project these two lines. That gives us our 90 over there. And we are going to measure. Another, f so that would be 45, 45, right? So there's a 45 and there's a 45, okay? There's a 45 millimeters. So I need a 45 on this. I need a 45 here. And I need a 45 on this side. It gives me 90. I draw this line here. I draw that line over there. And there's my square right so my octagon will fit in there so what I do now is I will now um, to make things easier I'm going to draw 40 for these lines here it's not really necessary but just so that I can move down the lines to pick up a radius okay and you'll see what I mean by now uh, what I mean now so, I now will open my compass from this point. I will open it the full distance here. Right to the center. And I will screw up an arc. I will do the same thing from this point. And I will repeat that from this point. And from this point right and voila I've got my octagon yeah oops I went a little bit over there okay from this point here now these angles here should be a 45 degree angle it should be a 45 degree angle and to make your task a little bit faster you can just 
use your set squares properly okay and complete on those lines And what you then do is you will then project this point down so that you can have this line over here. Right, can you all see that? So you project that point down and the same goes for this point here. You project this point down so that you can have this line over there. So basically you've got this surface here which is the flat surface here. Okay, which gives you that surface there, and then this, this angled surface here would give you this angled surface here, right? And then, of course, that one would be that one there, okay, guys? And that is it, that is altogether 11 marks, okay? Um, so we've got the octagon, and we've got the circle there, we've got that circle over there. And that basically covers everything. That circle, that circle, the octagon, the completion of the two angles here, and then these three faces over there. And that, guys, should give you around about 11 marks. And, um, yeah, uh, subscribe and um, give it a like. Because I'm going to continue with these, um, with these videos. And uh, it would be nice if you can follow me. Uh, by subscribing. Okay, cheers. See you with the next video.